What if I told you that Africa, the cradle of civilization, is now setting its eyes on the stars? That the same continent once labeled as developing is quietly building satellites, training astronauts, and joining the global space race? All the countries that have put satellites into orbit, African nations have sent the fewest. The first satellite phone call between two world leaders was made in 1963. We congratulate you very heartily, Mr. President, for this very big achievement. Between U.S. President John F. Kennedy and Nigerian Prime Minister Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. Thank you, Prime Minister, and we look forward to seeing you back at the White House again someday. That was a few years after stations in Nigeria and Zanzibar kept track of the first American astronauts. Kenya hosted an Italian spaceport in its waters in the 1960s. It's still there, but out of use. France ran a test launch site in Algeria. Many space programs in Africa were built with satellites purchased from abroad. These were mostly for communications, television, and internet. Egypt and Nigeria have had these programs for more than 20 years. Angola launched one from Kazakhstan in 2017. It failed a few months later. And Morocco and Algeria have launched Earth observation satellites as well as those for communications. Gabon has a space program where it downloads data to manage its vast rainforest. But now that satellites are smaller and cheaper, many African countries are building them at home. South Africa put up a cube satellite way back in 2001. Now Ghana, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tunisia, Zimbabwe, and Rwanda have their own too. One benefit is developing a new generation of space expertise at home. One of the objectives was to uh, start teaching our young ones, um, high school students, elementary school uh, students, uh, satellite technology. At least 500 students we meet every, uh, every year uh, and, and, and give them the, the knowledge of, 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 of satellite technology. Soon, launches may return to the African continent. Djibouti recently announced it will develop a spaceport with China. From the deserts of Egypt to the mountains of South Africa, a new story is being written. A story that might just redefine what the world thinks Africa is capable of. Welcome to the Africa News Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as we take you beyond the headlines into the skies above Africa. Africa's journey into space isn't fiction. It's real, it's bold, and it's happening right now. The dream of African space exploration began humbly, but today more than a dozen African nations are developing satellites and launching programs that rival global powers. From Nigeria to South Africa, Ghana to Egypt, the continent is no longer watching from the sidelines. It's actively charting a course through the stars. But how did we get here? A few decades ago, the idea of Africa building its own satellites sounded impossible. The world laughed at the thought of space programs coming from a continent still fighting poverty, corruption, and inequality. Yet, Africa did what it has always done. It defied expectations. Nigeria launched its first satellite to monitor its vast terrain and aid communication. Ghana used nanosatellites to track environmental changes. Egypt and South Africa now lead in space research, with control centers, observatories, and cutting-edge partnerships reaching across continents. Africa is reaching for the stars. From space exploration to groundbreaking scientific discoveries, let's highlight Africans' achievements in science and technology. The first thing I want us to talk about is Africans' first satellite. African nations like Nigeria, South Africa, and Ghana have lined their own satellites, proving that Africa is a player in space exploration. Number two, I am talking about Dr. Bernard Harris, the first African-American astronaut. Do you know Dr. Bernard Harris, the first African-American astronaut to walk in space, has African heritage? His success inspired a new generation of African scientists. Have you heard about the Square Kilometer Array, the world's largest radio telescope? South Africa is home to one of the largest telescope projects in the world, helping us to understand the universe like never before. COVID-19 test kits and vaccines developed in Africa. African scientists developed affordable COVID-19 test kits and vaccines 
proving that Africa is at the forefront of medical research. The future of science is Africa. Which of these discoveries impressed you the most? Let me know in the comment section. And as I always do, thank you so much for watching today's video. As I always say, I go by the name Jedidiah, but you can call me Big Jedi. Like, share, repost, do anything you want to do with this video so that others will see and hear about the beauty of Africa. Let's promote Africa together. Peace out. And now the African Union has established the African Space Agency, headquartered in Cairo, a united effort to put Africa firmly in orbit. But beyond the science and technology, something deeper is happening. This is about reclaiming destiny, about a generation of Africans saying, we belong in every field, even the ones they told us we couldn't reach. Africa has launched its first continental space agency, the African Space Agency, AFSA, headquartered in Cairo, Egypt. With Africa hit hardest by climate change, the agency will help launch satellites, set up weather stations, and deliver critical data to all AU countries. This comes after U.S. climate aid cuts, including the shutdown of Servia, a key satellite data project. AFSA now steps in to fill the gap with help from Europe. Africa has launched 63 satellites so far, but none from African soil. AFSA wants to change that and triple those numbers in just a few years. With $22 billion in space ambitions projected by 2026, Africa is no longer catching up, but preparing to lead. From climate tracking to connectivity, AFSA could be a game changer for African development. Should African countries collaborate more on space tech? Drop your thoughts below. When Africa launches a satellite, it's not just sending metal into the sky. It's sending a message to the world. Yet, we must ask, who really benefits from Africa's space ambitions? Will these programs serve the people, farmers, students, and communities, or will they serve only the elite and foreign investors? Can the continent maintain independence in space exploration when global powers still hold the keys to most rocket technologies? And more importantly, what does this mean for the next African child looking up at the stars tonight? Because the truth is, Africa has always been connected to the heavens. Long before rockets, ancient Africans were stargazers. The Dogon of Mali mapped the Sirius star system with astonishing accuracy. Egyptians aligned their pyramids with the cosmos. Our ancestors read the skies long before telescopes existed. So maybe this new space race isn't new at all. Maybe it's a return to something we once knew. Today, as satellites orbit above African skies, they watch over a continent rising, a continent reimagining itself, not as a follower, but as a pioneer. And for the first time in history, Africa's eyes are not just fixed on the ground beneath its feet, but on the universe above it. News for Senegal. Senegal has just made history with the launch of its new satellite, launched earlier this month from California. 61 satellites have been launched by African countries. 10 of those 52 satellites were launched by commercial entities and the first satellite was launched in 1998 by South Africa. So as we can see, Senegal has made a huge impact with launching another satellite on August 16th. This milestone is set to transform life in Senegal, enhancing communication, improving education, and boosting agricultural productivity. Sometimes we can get confused on why satellites are important to a country's development. So I really want to highlight how much satellites have been used to advance many nations. It's hard to even imagine what our world would be like without satellites because we completely depend on satellites for so many things as it relates to communication, transactions, finances, especially with our communication. Anyone traveling by land, sea, or air, you depend on satellites to get there safely. All of our airplanes, what causes them to not crash in the air is due to our satellite. GPS navigation has been extremely supported by our satellites especially for our military command. Many people in the military use our satellites to communicate with each other, to communicate with home base, to give orders. It's just satellites are the foundation of our ability to communicate across the world. On top of that, the stock market would crash totally 
Any of our financial transactions are done through satellite. Going to the supermarket and paying for your purchases with a credit card, satellite. The stock market and making any transactions, satellite. Our finances would be totally distraught if we do not have satellites. But what's the most important part of being able to have a satellite is global security. Many countries, they are able to understand the full lay of their land through their satellites. Agriculture sector is able to thrive through satellites. So having a satellite, especially for a developing nation, is an extreme milestone. And I just wish Senegal the best with this. And I'm curious to know how Senegal is going to develop moving forward with this new satellite. It's important to note that the satellite was supposed to launch in 2019 and again in 2023. However, COVID-19 and other political challenges delayed the project. However, it is here, Gaindesat is here, and I'm so excited to see its development. Disclaimer, the following report is for educational and informational purposes only. All information presented here is based on publicly available data, research, and verified reports. The Africa News Channel does not represent any government or political interest. Africa's journey to space is not just about science. It's about pride, potential, and purpose. It's about a new generation daring to dream beyond borders, beyond gravity, and beyond limitation. So as the world watches rockets soar from African soil, one question remains. How far can Africa go when it finally believes that the sky is no longer the limit? Thank you for watching the Africa News Channel. If you love what we do, please support us by sending a super thanks or becoming a channel member. It helps us bring Africa's untold stories to light.